Hello everyone. Today we want to show you how to renew your desk. In this case, we have a desk of a well-known Swedish brand. We will show you the application both on the curved inner side, both on the rest of the sides, and on the upper parts. Before starting, I want to clarify that I am Matthew, my voice is made with a special software and please forgive any pronunciation errors, but believe me. I am very nice. Let's see how to proceed with our work. First of all we disassemble the desk to facilitate the application, we detach the legs. We are going to apply this part with the curved corner first, and then the rest. We make the curved corner a little different. We are going to use the mineral roll, a film of small width, if you want you can cut yourself from a larger roll, and we will apply it directly on the curved side. This is the simplest application, we will close the upper and lower part before applying the film on the upper surface. In this case I used two different colors, this blue, and this wood effect, to create a good contrast. Let's start applying the strip starting from the shorter straight side. We apply it in a central position, in this way, leaving a margin above and below. We don't even heat up. We then move on to the curved part. We keep it in the center and slowly apply it, without heating it. We continue on the other straight side, and then we stop, because now we show you the curved side. First, let's fix the first side. We cut the ends and with the heat gun we heat, so as to stretch the film on the top and on the bottom. We then proceed to the incision of the edge, leaving a margin of about half a centimeter, in order to allow the overlapping of the film that we are going to apply on the upper surface. We do the same thing below as well. Now let's move on to the curved side. We are going to engrave the upper part with cut spaced about 10 centimeters for the whole length of the side, but without reaching the top. This technique makes it easier for us to apply it to curved parts. We heat the vinyl with the heat gun, or hair dryer. After that we apply the vinyl. We are always keeping an abundant margin that we are going to trim. We do the same thing below. This is the result. With the cutter we are going to engrave half a centimeter from the edge, following the entire perimeter. Like this. Let's remove the excess film. We proceed with the application on the other straight sides, in the same way. Here is the result of the lower part. We left a little more leeway. It is not visible and we can guarantee a greater grip. Let's move on to applying the top. In this case there is the curved side, so to make it easier we remove the excess part. We keep 3 or 4 centimeters of margin. We will not throw this part away. We apply as usual, using the squeegee to spread the vinyl, in this way. Once the upper part is finished with the cutter we remove most of the film. Then, being more careful, we trim the edges well with a diagonal cut. Using the pop corner facilitates this type of cut on flush edges. 
And here is the final result. In this case we have deliberately applied two different films, to show you the result more clearly. If you want you can use the same film to make everything more homogeneous. Let's now move on to the other table, the normal one. In this case I have already applied the film on the sides. For the top we use different films, these fantastic solid colors. We remove our back paper for a few centimeters. This time I have the fantastic idea of an application different from the usual, diagonally, starting from one corner and ending on the other. I want to make two triangles of different colors. Let's help ourselves with the squeegee and spread the film normally. We cut the excess film, like this, and always trim at 45 degrees as we did before. We repeat on the other side. The initial idea was that of the two colors, but when I cut the second film I realized that I had made the wrong cut. Well, I'm good to speak English, but I'm not so good in measuring. I can't cover everything. So I thought of an alternative. I will make the top in three pieces, I do not give up and continue with the application. Here I'm going to apply another color. I place the film on the edge of the one already applied, overlapping it by about half a centimeter. We remove the back paper and finish the application with the help of the spatula. We make the last piece in a cream color, to detach the color. We always use the half centimeter of overlap. We apply, cut and trim. The three color table is finished. We remove the paper. Beautiful, isn't it? This is the final result of the desk that we are going to use as an office station. Missing the chair, monitors, keyboard, mouse, etc. Everything you need. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful above all. I hope you liked my voice too. See you next time. Bye bye.